Also in Boston for the marathon was the University of Mobile cross country coach. Local 15's John Zanita spoke with him by phone earlier this evening. Uh, John, this isn't his first Boston Marathon, but he did notice something was different before the race even started. He really did, Kim. He noticed bomb-sniffing dogs at the start line, people on the roofs who appear to be spotters. This was all before the marathon even started. He's never seen security like that at a race, and he's been plenty in plenty of them. He said they even made announcements on the loudspeaker saying it was just a training exercise. His wife was sitting in one of the seating sections by the finish line where one of the explosions went off. She thankfully left her seat to meet up with him after he finished the marathon. He told me his wife saw law enforcement canines at the finish line as well before the explosions went off. They kept making announcements saying, participants, do not worry. This is just a training exercise. Well, evidently, I don't believe they were just having a training exercise. I think they must have known. They must have had some kind of threats or suspicions called in. I've run in some of the biggest marathons in the world. I've run in London, in the, the, the Washington, D.C. one, Chicago, and I've never seen any, anything like that before a marathon. Now, Coach Stevenson says he heard two explosions, saw the big white cloud of smoke, and started running away with his wife. He told me he and his wife are okay and that they were evacuated to their hotel.